Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you had a great Father's Day weekend. I know we did here at the Gatlin House and also with our church family. And uh, we're getting ready. We're getting geared up. And in just a few hours, we're going to be taking the teens up to camp. It's going to be a great, great week for them. You pray for our teens uh, as they enjoy a great time worshiping the Lord and spending time with each other at a youth camp and so anyway take your bibles romans chapter number 12 uh, we left off with verse number 14 uh, on friday and so i want to make sure we jump right back in because i think there's something here for us that is really important uh really what he's going to be dealing with in the next few verses is when we control our passions because I think that a lot of people need some emotion control. When we control our passions, we not only please God, but we can soothe hurts and amplify joy. And so I want to encourage you with that, that we've got to keep our passions under control. Many people are ruled by them and do whatever their emotion or emotions require or demand. And we've got to level that off and just do what's right in spite of how passionate we might be about what something's either someone's either done to us or hasn't happened yet. We want to make sure we have that control. Listen to how it is displayed for us here in Romans chapter number 12, starting with verse number 14. It says, bless them that which persecute you, bless and curse not. Okay, so people are doing wrong to you for your faith. Don't do wrong in return to get even with them. Uh, verse number 15, it says, rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. And so there's that, hey, let's make sure that we are able to control ourselves enough to uh, rejoice with the people that are having a great time and then also be able to help people in their low times when they're weeping. Verse number 16, it says, be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. I mean, really that whole passage is about making sure that we don't believe uh, everything, every good thing that people say about us to the point where we believe that we are super special and are so good and so necessary that, that people praise us. He says, let yourself be a little bit more humble than that. Work with people that are in that humble state and, and make sure uh, that we are not uh, thinking that we're wise in our own conceits. Uh, that we're so good because because these conceited things we believe about ourselves we need to keep all of that under control so we can help people that are really dealing with hard times and then uh, he, he goes uh, goes on to say uh, recompense no uh, to no man evil for evil isn't that kind of our, our spirit we want to give to people what we believe they have coming to them well that's evil for evil a person hurts us we hurt them back a person wrongs us we wrong them back and and uh, uh, and somehow we we feel like we're justified and misbehaving because they misbehave first. And, and so he's telling us, you know, have some emotional control, have some passion control here. Uh, he says, provide things honest in the sight of all men. And so we're looking for that thing that everyone uh, can get something from. And so this last one, listen to this, it says, if it be possible, if it be possible, as much lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. And so our desire is not to make sure that everyone knows that we were right and they were wrong or, or to get even with everyone or to make sure that every wrong is punished by us because we believe we've got it all figured out. That would be a lack of passion or emotion control. God is saying we need to be the stable ones in every situation. Even when someone is attacking us or hurting us, we need to be the stable-minded one, keeping our thoughts pure and our hearts directed towards the Lord, allowing Him to take care of it because we're not supposed to recompense or, or return evil for evil. And so uh, we're supposed to live peaceably with all men. So I want to encourage you with that today. This morning, you're starting a brand new week. Let's strive to live peaceably with all men. The only way we're going to be able to do that it was, it was with passion control. Have some self-control. Have some passion control today. And I know it'll help your, your day start off great and your week be the best one in a long time. Have a great day.